This video is dedicated in memory to Earl Simmons, better known as DMX, one of the greatest hip hop artists of all time, in my opinion. Very influential in my love of hip hop when growing up. His first three albums were absolutely amazing. If you yourself or anyone you know is struggling with an addiction problem, please do not be afraid to reach out and get help. We're all in this together at the end of the day. Rest in peace, DMX. You will be missed. So back in 2018, around the holiday season, I got one of the greatest gifts of all time, and that was Soldier Boy entering the video game marketplace. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this situation and what was happening with it, let me just briefly catch you up to speed. Soldier Boy, the rapper, had basically said, hey, I'm entering the video game land sphere with a video game console, a variety of video game consoles, and everyone was kind of like, well, that's kind of out of left field, you know, maybe you love video games, maybe you have something cool to show off, but essentially what this was was a situation where I don't think Soldier Boy quite knew what was going on with it. These systems were basically AliExpress systems that were already available, just rebranded with Soldier Boy terminology on them and then sold at about twice to three times the price. Now, this is a very common thing. When you look at AliExpress, you can see tons of different clone systems and these clone systems are becoming more and more prevalent. Sure, there's some little differences between them. You know, you have the Pow Kitty line, you have the Amber Nick line, but basically all of these things are using the the same sort of technology and basically just offering a retro gaming experience on the go or sometimes with a console but they're not new consoles they are all dependent on games and systems that are already available on the marketplace well i say that this was a great gift for me because i of course covered this situation and really soldier boy made me a lot of money like i cannot hate this dude whatsoever that month was very successful for the channel and of course i just had a lot of fun talking about it i ended up on world star hip-hop of all places for my soldier boy coverage which was very very cool to see granted the comments section i mean they, they were a little bit rough on your boy you know they they took a lot of shots at him but he really at the end of the day it's all love i was just talking about a situation that i found to be really fascinating because soldier boy was going after like nintendo and stuff acting like he was untouchable when it comes to things like copyright situations which if you know copyright situations in the united states are very different than they are in china well earlier this year back in february of 2021 soldier boy announced that he was indeed coming back to the video game marketplace. I'm assuming he had learned his lesson with how drop shipping works, ROMs and emulation, the piracy aspect, the whole legality field of it and whatnot. And he made a tweet back on February 13th saying that he was building a brand new console from scratch, all new design, all new games, all new deals, let's make history. So I of course replied to the tweet, you know, I took a little bit of a little joke at him or whatnot because I just felt like this situation wasn't going to end up very well for him. Obviously, Obviously, there was a lot of problems with the original consoles. A lot of people didn't even get their original consoles that they ordered from Soldier Boy himself. There was refunds issued. Uh, I think a few YouTubers might have gotten one. A lot of people were picking it up just to sort of review it, and then they quickly realized, hey, it's just a cheap Chinese knockoff system that's already available on the marketplace. But did he learn his lesson? Well, about 24 hours ago, Soldier Boy announced that his brand new handheld was now available. And yes, it's available. You can buy it right now. Now, did he learn his lesson? Is it a brand new system with brand new games and brand new deals I'm, i i have a sneaking suspicion you know where this is going to go and how this is going to end up but yes indeed there is a new soldier boy console the trdr handheld system and let's let's take a look at it so we have the tweet here we can get five percent off on trdrpocket.com for the soldier boy game edition trdr handheld system now looking at this very briefly i'm not someone who buys a lot of these knockoff systems from china but i know a lot of people i have a lot of friends that do people like cool toy and looking at this cool toy actually made a video about a year or so ago about something called the pal kitty a19 which looks looks exactly the same it it, it, it looks exactly the same has same button layout same d-pad same same analog stick so there's a lot of things right there just looking at this system that sort of show red flags you can go on aliexpress and see a million different systems that look like this now now, to be fair, this isn't a one-to-one -one clone of the Pal Kitty A19 right out of the gate. When you sort of look at the specs of it, this is using a Helio P60 a handheld processor in it that's usually used for a lot of phones I found on AliExpress, and it actually has a touchscreen on it where the Pal Kitty does not have a touchscreen on it. Now, what's the point of a touchscreen on it? I'm, I'm not really quite sure. I mean, maybe it plays DS games, but if it's DS games, like you only have one screen on it, so that kind of negates the point of it. But maybe there is a reason 
parties and maybe these exclusive Soldier Boy games that are available on this console are the reason why it has a touchscreen support. So let's go over to the website for this product and we could see here it is a Fireball Red Soldier Boy Edition TRDR pocket 4g you know it's, it's a really good name uh, it's a little bit long but here's the system itself in red and yeah you know that, that same d-pad those same sort of buttons a little analog stick you know it, it's it's all good i guess let's look at some more pictures of the system here we see it has like a the, the back of it has some soldier boy stuff on it this really feels like it's just a rebranded system I, I i can't get over that feeling and two hundred dollars 199.99 to get your hands on this system System. let's read the description box together soldier boy game edition and i feel like edition should probably be capitalized there because it's kind of the name of it the new trdr pocket 4g with 32 gigs the dazzling 3.5 inch touchscreen brings gaming to life powered by android it includes all your favorite entertainment apps like netflix spotify apple music right out of the box plus all the social networking apps you could ever I could ever what? Do I want these social networking apps? Do I not want these social networking apps? Why does this thing talk about 4G? Like, is, is that something that these systems really need to have? A lot of these systems have wireless capabilities in order to download ROMs off of different sorts of hubs and whatnot. But yes, it is uh, $199 for this system, and we have some more information in the product description. It features a super fast Helio P60 processor, Bluetooth 4.0, 3 gigs of RAM, and a battery with up to 8 hours of continuous playback. Download your favorite MP3, MP4, Wave, or movie files directly onto your device or through the SD slot. Browse the internet via Chrome with super fast 2.4 gig or 5 gig Wi-Fi connection, HDMI out, TRDR headphones, mini USB cable. And then we have some product reviews for it. Somewhat mixed reviews, you know, some people, I, I don't know how you're reviewing a product that's only been out for 24 hours. You obviously haven't bought this system or anything like that. And then you can see here that there are some variants to the system, a sun-kissed orange that looks a lot like the Pow Kitty A19. But like I said, it is a little bit different. But here's, here's, here's the thing with this. Remember going back to what we said initially at the start of the video, a brand new console, brand new games, brand new deals. What are are the games on this thing like what are the actual games that i will be playing on this game a good dose of adventure games a good dose of rpg games a good dose of sports games or any of these games brand new like no it's once again just the same sort of situation that we saw back in 2018 where this is a chinese manufacturer more than likely making this system and this is a dump ship sort of thing where you order a bulk of them from china you get them into your stock you then customize it and then you ship them out at a higher price point now like i said i can't find the exact system that this has the helio p60 is usually used in a lot of cell phones that i saw on aliexpress obviously the touchscreen is a bit different which is something that you will see in a phone of course more so than in a video game console unless these games are utilizing it but the thing the thing that just drives me nuts is he, he you didn't learn a lesson here you didn't learn what the problem was with the initial system i have no problem with people making money i have no problem with people hustling and you know it's just the way of the world capitalism make your money worry about your wallet not somebody else's wallet but the thing of it is it's, it's, it's shady you know you're still making a system a handheld system that is contingent on other people's games that is contingent on other systems that are already available and you're trying to use your name in order to get more people to buy it at the end of the day if this was a good product it actually brought something into the world of gaming and you weren't just trying to capitalize on gamers who might just know you by name and are more casual gamers nobody would care about this you know it would be fine it doesn't matter if it's soldier boy or dumbass john mayer like if anyone wants to get into the world of video games and they bring a product in that's interesting that is different that does something a little bit more unique then i think people would be interested in that product but to just use your name in order to somewhat deceive people into ordering a cheap chinese knockoff system that you can get for like half the price or even less on aliexpress with the same sort of features and the same sort of capabilities nobody's going to give you credit for this nobody's going to give you any sort of credence for doing a good job from it and we still don't know what games are actually on this so yeah you know it, it's it's another just crazy situation the the trdr pocket 4g a great name do not get me wrong but i feel like you know no lessons were really learned here there are no new games on this there are no new features on this this isn't a game changer or anything like that it's once again just a rebranded cheap chinese console maybe 
I should start doing this. Maybe I should make the RGT85 line of handheld consoles where I just buy a bunch from China and change up the colors of them a little bit, throw an RGT logo on there, and then charge you guys a bunch of money for it because you guys would be cool with that, right? Like, that would be no problem. No, I wouldn't do that. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about this. I found it to be very humorous, and I was kind of surprised that nobody else had talked about this brand new Soldier Boy console that is now available. So if you want to get it, I will have a link to it in the description box down below. Maybe you just want to look at the website itself. Let me know in the comments if you plan on picking up this bad boy and playing your favorite Famicom and NES and Genesis games on another handheld that works exactly like all the other ones already available on the marketplace. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out other videos on the channel as well. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.